Hello everybody, this is Zax399. Now inside this clear plastic cup, you guys will, if you can see it, see again our twig mantis. This uh, mantis was actually given to my 13 year old daughter by the lady uh, we're looking to buy another bearded dragon from uh, here in the coming days. But this guy is only about a quarter of an inch long, super super small and really hard to see inside this plastic cup. Now the lady who gave this uh, mantis to my daughter uh, so that cub is the perfect terrarium for a, uh, you know, a mantis that size. But in this video, I'm going to go ahead and take this mantis out and put it in a uh, dog bowl here just so I can kind of keep it contained and keep the dubia roach that I'm going to try to feed it contained and uh, see if maybe today this uh, twig mantis is hungry enough to eat a dubia roach about twice its size, probably at least twice its size. So we'll be back with this footage and video right after this. All right, welcome back everybody. All right, pretty clear shot of the little twig mantis right here, and you can definitely see it better with his camcorder uh, than you can inside the cup. You can see he's already looking at that dubia roach crawling down below the plastic leaf stem. And I'm going to have to try to figure out a way to get him down a little closer to the prey. You can see that he is following it with his head and his eyes. All right, so I got him on a little uh, twig, which matches his name. I'm gonna go ahead and put this plastic leaf back in his cup here. And now we get the little twiggy. Twiggy, by the way, is the name my daughter came up with for this twig mantis. Real original, I know. Uh, but hey, it works. It's just a little mantis, so. Uh. Now right here, I've dropped the dubia roach and purposely dropped it until it landed on its back. Uh, just to give this mantis a chance uh, because this uh, stubia is really really uh, big compared to it. I think it weighs about twice as much. I would bet it does anyway. And this thing if you look at it like by your finger it's so small. It looks so much bigger on video than it actually is. I mean this thing is like razor thin when you look at it in the cup. Or when you look at it with a bare eye either one. As you can see, he is turning around. He is taking uh, sight of the dubia. And here it looks like he curls up his arms as he gets close. Oh, took a snag at it, but he missed, I think. It's kind of cool how he can... Oh, he got it. He pulled it closer, and I think he took a snip there, too. It's kind of cool how he can stand sideways, though, or like actually almost upside down, you know, and has perfect balance. And he's still looking to get a bite there. Maybe he is hungry tonight. Uh, I think he grabbed it, pulled it. I think he got a bite. I'd have to go into slow motion to actually see if he got a bite or two in there. It looked with a naked eye uh, that he just pulled it closer, but I think he probably got a bite in. Now, how much his bites are hurting this doobie at this point? Uh, I don't think it's hurting it a lot. But then again, I'm not the doobie, so. Oh, he definitely got a bite or two in there. And what is he going to do about it now? Turn around and run. Now, look at him. It looks like he's kind of boxing. It's so weird. This little, uh, this little mantis, this little twig mantis, not only does it blend in with its environment above a stick real well, it looks just like the stick, but it's like every time it goes to take a couple of uh, snaps at a bug like this, it does this boxing thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay in slow motion, that last snag. Reaching out. Oh, it bit it once, twice, three times. Four times it looked like, at least three times, maybe four times before uh, the bug was able to hurl itself away. 
Wow. And with a naked eye, the first time you watch that, you would not be able to see that it bit that bug, you know, three or four times. It's not until you slow it down that you can actually see what's going on there. And that bug is still struggling. Well, is he going to go back for more? Look at how well he blends in with that stick there. His color almost matches perfectly the stick. I mean, he looks like a little twig himself. That's why I guess why he's called the twig mantis. But it's crazy how well he blends in there. And if you didn't know that was a, a mantis right there with a naked eye, I don't even know if you'd notice it. And that dubia decides it's time to bathe itself. <laughs> I find that funny. You would think that the dubia could sense the danger right behind it. I mean, that's maybe an inch away. It's not very far. And the mantis is taking his time. Now this is about a 20 minute, 20 minutes worth of video that I actually captured and cut down. Uh, I was actually playing and watching this uh, little twig mantis for well over two hours. So I cut it down to 20 minutes from over two hours of video. Uh, I tried to cut out the boring stuff where, you know, the, the twig mantis is just sitting there. Or, you know, there's really nothing going on. That arm just hanging. Now oh, he found a place for it. He's definitely checking the prey out. I don't know if he's calculating like the precise spot to hit it or, you know, I don't know what's going on inside his head there, or his instincts or whatever. I don't know that a bug like this has, you know, a thought process. I think it's pretty much just all instinct. So it's pretty interesting to watch though. All right, come on, take a snap at it, buddy. Oh, he did something there. Now, it didn't look like he even got it there. It just kind of looked like he, he jumped at it and then came back. And then again, he does that boxing stuff. Now he's actually swaying back and forth. It's kind of weird. Now he's doing the boxing stuff with his arms. It's weird. I don't know what that's for. Here we go again. Look at him with his arms. What is, I wonder what that is. I wonder what, what they do that for. I have no idea. And while my camcorder is certainly not, you know, an expensive camcorder, I think it did a pretty good job at recording these little guys, especially considering how small this little guy is. Like I say, he is way smaller than he looks on video here. there again he's kind of swaying back and forth I'm guessing they probably do that to kind of mimic a leaf swaying in the wind on a branch or something you know something to kind of help protect them from uh, predators of them spiders and birds and whatever else goes for them a pretty good climb too to climb the the slick uh, side of the bowl here I know the dubia has no chance of climbing that that plastic side and he climbs right up onto my flashlight here. Now that is one of these real small flashlights, and so you can kind of tell how big the dubia, I mean how big the, uh, not dubia, but the uh, frig, fig, twig, twig mantis is there. I was going to say fig. All right, here you kind of see him, I guess, bathing himself. It's kind of interesting and cool to see how their head swivels. Like it looks like it could almost swivel around like almost 360 degrees. It looks like you, if you had fingers small enough, you could just take his head and just snap it right off like a Lego or something. <laughs> so here, uh, a little bit later, I've uh, 
strategically placed the Nubia Roach again on his back. Poor guy. Uh, within a short distance of the uh, Twig Mantis. And my camera is almost seeing it upside down. I mean, I'm almost pointing straight down at the bull. That's the bull bottom you're looking at there. Obviously, the uh, Dubia Roach is on his back. So I rotated my camera around to get a better view. I think the best thing for that Dubia to do, if it sensed the danger, would be to pretend it's dead and quit flailing around, but... It's not going to do that. Oh, maybe it is. Kind of looks dead now. It's doing something with its little mandibles. Yeah. Movement is definitely going to let that mantis know that it's alive. If it couldn't tell anyway. Which it probably can. Oh! Okay, I don't know if it got a bite on that. We're going to have to take a look. It didn't really look like it uh, bit it, but let's take a look at that uh, in slow motion here. One-tenth speed. Oh, not only one bite, it got two bites in. Now, at this point, this uh, little mantis has had at least five or six good bites in to the underbelly the soft underbelly of this mantis. Here it again. It is again uh, doing that boxing thing. Uh, kind of looks like it's, uh, you know, practicing boxing with his arms. I don't know why it does that, but I'm sure it's not practicing. It's boxing, but that's what it looks like. It's kind of funny. But I don't know how many bites it would take for this mantis to actually kill this doobie at this point. All right, now here we go in another uh, situation where the mantis is uh, right near the dubia on his back. And we'll see how many bites it gets in here if he does. Oh, he definitely grabbed it. Oh, it looks like he's, oh, you can tell he's getting several bites in and even without going into slow motion. I tried to zoom up and went into, uh, it got blurry on me. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in slow motion, one tenth speed again. All right, when I zoomed in, it went out of focus, but let's see how many times he bites him before. One, two, three, four. It's hard to tell how good he's biting him because the bug is flailing as well, but it definitely looks like he's got in at least three or four good bites there. And He's snipping at something. Looks like he's trying to snip at his leg. My camera isn't real focused here with all the movement going on and everything. And then I try to zoom in and it got out of focus. But then once I got it back in focus, you can see a bite there. And maybe one more bite. So probably at least four or five bites before I went out of focus, probably a couple of bites while I was out of focus and a couple of more after I got back in focus. I think that uh, Mantis got at least six to eight good bites in there. And now he's kind of licking his chops. I'm starting to think that this Mantis isn't really hungry. Uh, I don't know if it's just the instincts in him that's making him attack the uh, the Dubia Roach when I place it near him, or you know, or what's going on. But I think if I'm starting to think that if this Twig Mantis was really hungry, he would hold that uh, Dubia Roach down on his back and chew the living heck out of it and start eating it. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. You would think if he wasn't hungry though, he wouldn't even attack it, but. Again, maybe it's just the instincts in him that's making him attack. Especially in such a uh, inviting you know, position where the doobie is on his back and it's soft underbelly and, and everything like that are, are so easily available. So I just thought this was a good shot of the mantis there. 
So now you see me taking a screwdriver and again positioning this poor Dubia roach uh, in a position that best suits the uh, survival of the mantis, would you say? I know I felt sorry for the Dubia roaches before when I used to just feed them to Rocky because he, you know, he chews them up alive and crunch, 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 but they're dead in, you know, no time. And then I started watching these videos of first soda eating these Dubia roaches where she would take, you know, eight or ten hours uh, of eating these Dubia roaches alive. And now this mantis looks like it's going to do the same kind of thing. I'm sure once it's hungry, it's just going to feast on it, you know, and uh, that Dubia roach will be half dead you know, while it's being eaten alive. What a way to go. So it's kind of funny because as soon as I put that Dubia roach up there, it, uh, the mantis turned its head. It's like, boy, again? <laughs> and so here it is crawling again. It's like, wow, deja vu. I think I've seen this guy before. Hey, do I know you? <laughs> you want to be friends, buddy? That Dubia Roach is busy licking, doing something with his mandibles there. His mouth. I don't know. It looks like it's cleaning itself or something. You would think it would uh, have more priorities with that mantis right above it there than bathing or whatever it's doing, cleaning itself. I guess that's what it's doing. That's what it looks like to me. You guys will have to let me know if you think I'm wrong about any of this. But look how that mantis just looks like a stick. It's amazing how how much it actually can blend in with its natural environment. And here I actually cut some of it out. There it goes. Oh, it got it good there. You can see it chewing on it. Oh, it got some good bites in there. And the dubia got away, but uh, it fell over. I didn't even have to flip it over on its back that time. It did it all by itself trying to escape. And here again, a little bit later, this uh, twig mantis was actually trying to get out of the bowl here, but it did walk up right, uh, right behind the dubia. <laughs> it's kind of freaking out like, whoa, what are you gonna do, man? Or I don't know if it's getting prepared to, to hop on it or what, but. And again, the doobie is doing its cleaning. <laughs> I find that so funny. You would think it'd be doing everything. You'd think it'd sense the danger and be flailing like crazy trying to get out of there. Instead of leisurely. Ooh, wow. Yeah, see, you could see that mantis took total control of that doobie and went in for some bites right there near its head. Uh, right there. And now the mantis just, you know, just kind of stands still and really doesn't take any interest. Several minutes later, the doobie is flailing around. I'm sure it's in pain, but the mantis just doesn't take any interest. And I think it's already demonstrated that, I mean, it looks down at it here and it's like, you're lucky I'm not hungry, buddy. That's what I'm thinking. It's, it's saying, you're lucky I'm not hungry. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, I think the dubia here is uh, kind of lucky right now. I mean, it's taken several bites, but I think if that mantis was really hungry, I think it would have already pinned it down with its front arms there and, you know, eaten a, a good portion of it by now. Here, I just show in this because look at it actually pull its back leg up. This little mantis kind of reminds me of a monkey, the way it walks around when it walks and kind of stands up, you know, like a human at some points and or a monkey and uh, I don't know it's very interesting I never would have guessed that a twig mantis would have been this interesting but like I said I sat here and watched this thing for over two hours uh, trying to get some good shots for you guys uh, hopefully in the coming days I'll actually be able to record it actually eating a, a roach or eating something uh, but right now I just don't think it's hungry so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed these shots I've got of this little uh, really super small uh, as you can see how small it is compared to my hand there and compared to the cup but I'm gonna go ahead and put him away 
and we'll try again another day to see if maybe he'll take more interest in in having a feast out of one of these uh dubia roaches so popping the lid back on and telling twiggy good night you guys be sure you leave your comments down below let me know if you've enjoyed this video or if it actually bored the heck out of you whatever it is uh and uh we're gonna go ahead and put twiggy away i want to go and thank you guys for watching be sure you leave those comments down below be sure you rate this video if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up helps me more than you know to let me know that you enjoyed this video take care everybody we'll see you later this has been zaxter 99